Hoy te voy a enseñar 25 frases esenciales que vas a querer saber si es que quieres llegar a comunicar en inglés. Si quieres hablar inglés y entender la gente cuando te habla. Ah, vas a ver las frases en películas, canciones, por las calles. Ya, yeah, hay que saberlas. Y si tú quieres más lecciones como esta, por favor, nada más te pido que me avises en los comentarios. Tus comentarios me ayudan un montón a saber qué es lo que tú quieres trabajar en las próximas lecciones. Y de verdad me ayuda mucho promover este video y este canal. Y no podemos seguir creciendo sin tu ayuda. Ya, empecemos. La primera frase acá parece complicado, pero no lo es. I have nothing to do with someone or something. Okay? No tener nada que ver con algo, una situación o algo. Alguien. Por ejemplo, tú me presentas una situación, me estás tratando de culpar con algo. Yo digo simplemente, I have nothing to do with it. It acá la situación que me estás presentando, ¿no? I have nothing to do with it. No tengo nada que ver con esa situación. Nota acá, nothing, nothing t, t. Estamos reduciendo el to a un t. Nothing t, nothing to do with it. I will have nothing to do with it. I will have nothing to do with it. They have nothing to do with it. They have nothing to do with it. La próxima acá, have a look at. Have a look at something. Uh, echa un vistazo a algo. Have a look at these photographs. Have a look at these photographs. It's time to have a look at your face. It's time to have a look at your face. Hey, have a look at these photos. Oye, echa un vistazo a estas fotos, ¿no? Have a, have a look, look at. Have a look at. Mucha vinculación acá. Have a look at these photos, por ejemplo. Have a look at these photographs. Have a look at these photographs. It's time to have a look at your face. It's time to have a look at your face. La próxima, el verbo to be good at something. Una cosa acá, ser bueno en algo. Uh, ser muy hábil en algo, no tener talento por hacer algo. I'm good at sports. I'm good at sports. Rebecca is so good at her job. Rebecca is so good at her job. I'm good at teaching English. La cosa ahí. Soy bueno para enseñar inglés. So, I'm good at learning new languages. Algo así, no? To be good at something. Good at. Good at. Uh, I want to know, what are you good at? Yo quiero saber, eh, dime, what are you good at? En los comentarios me puedes decir, Cody, I'm good at X cosa. I'm good at sports. I'm good at sports. Rebecca is so good at her job. Rebecca is so good at her job. El verbo to be, ahora, good for. To be good for something. Acá un sustantivo, uh, un frase nominal. Good for business. Good for business. Kill is good for the eyes. Kill is good for the eyes. Un ejemplo. Uh, si yo pongo un cartel en la ventana de mi oficina y alguien me dice, Cory, ¿por qué lo tienes ahí? Deberías quitarlo, se ve, se ve feo. Yo digo, it, it is, it's. Good for business. Es bueno para la, los, los negocios. Va a traer más gente. It's good for business. It's good for business. Good for business. Good for business. Kill is good for the eyes. Kill is good for the eyes. Ya vimos, it's good for business. Ahora... It's bad for business, ¿no? El verbo to be más bad for, más un sustantivo, frase nominal. It's bad for business. It's bad for business. It's bad for my brain. It's bad for my brain. He, 
He is he's bad for business. Él es mal para los negocios. Él trae algo mal que mata los negocios. Por ejemplo, he's bad for business. Okay? Good at, good for, bad for. Los tres que acabas de ver. He's bad for business. He's bad for business. It's bad for my brain. It's bad for my brain. La próxima acá, go for something. I'll go for D, London. I'll go for D, London. Let's go for the green. Let's go for the green. Uh, te voy a mostrar un par de formas. Go for it. Go for it quiere decir hazlo, inténtalo. ¿no? Tra trata de hacer esa cosa. ¿no? Go for it. Go for it. Por ejemplo, quieres pedir un nuevo sueldo, pero tienes miedo y yo te digo, go for it, go for it, hazlo, pídelo a tu jefe, ¿no? El otro, I'll, I will, I'll, go for, más una cosa acá, quiere decir, quiero elegir esta cosa. Por ejemplo, estoy pidiendo comida y yo digo, I'll, I'll go for the cheeseburger. Es quiere decir como, si me puedes dar un cheeseburger, por favor. I'll go for the cheeseburger. Eso es lo que estoy eligiendo. I'll go for D, London. I'll go for D, London. Let's go for the green. Let's go for the green. La próxima acá quizás es un poco más como intermedia. Uh, en vez de decir I can do it, lo puedo hacer yo, uh, I'm able to do it. Soy capaz de hacerlo. Vas a, vas a ver las dos formas y por eso quiero que lo aprendas, ¿no? I'm quite able to take care of things myself. I'm quite able to take care of things myself. Tell you I'm well able to defeat you. Tell you I'm well able to defeat you. He's able to do it. Es igual a he can do it, pero es como él es, él es capaz de hacerlo y a lo mejor él va a hacerlo. Nos va a ayudar con eso. He's able to do it. Él tiene la disponibilidad y la capacidad de saber cómo hacerlo. He's able to do it. I'm quite able to take care of things myself. I'm quite able to take care of things myself. Tell you I'm well able to defeat you. Tell you I'm well able to defeat you. La próxima acá, a couple of, un par de más un sustantivo plural. It would be Christmas in a couple of months. It would be Christmas in a couple of months. I'll see you in a couple of days. I'll see you in a couple of days. I'll see you. I'll, I will, I'll see you in a couple of days. Okay? O te veo en un par de días. O I'll see you in a couple of Months. Te veo en un par de meses. Me voy de viaje. I'll see you in a couple of months. Couple of, couple of, a couple of months. It would be Christmas in a couple of months. It would be Christmas in a couple of months. I'll see you in a couple of days. I'll see you in a couple of days. As soon as. As soon as. Tan pronto como. And I'll let you know as soon as I can. And I'll let you know as soon as I can. That I will be back just as soon as I can. That I will be back just as soon as I can. I'll call you. I'll call you as soon as I can. Te llamaré lo más pronto posible. Yeah? I'll call you as soon as I can. As soon as I can soon as I can. And I'll let you know as soon as I can. And I'll let you know as soon as I can. But I will be back just as soon as I can. But I will be back just as soon as I can. For the first time. Por la primera vez. I'm hearing this for the first time. I'm hearing this for the first time. Well, he met him for the first time a few days ago. Well, he met him for the first Time a few days ago. I'm hearing this for the first time. Escucho esto por la primera vez. Nada, 
jamás antes alguien me lo, lo había dicho, ¿no? I'm hearing this, hearing this, this la noticia, for the first time. I'm hearing this for the first time. I'm hearing this for the first time. Well, he met him for the first time a few days ago. Well, he met him for the first time a few days ago. La próxima, in black and white, in blanco y negro, o a veces nada más black and white. Everything is in black and white. Everything is in black and white. To only see in black and white. To only see in black and white. Black and white. Y estoy casi seguro que significa lo mismo en español. Uh, quiere decir que no muchas veces lo usamos para decir no todo es blanco y negro, no todo es como dos campos eh, bueno y malo, hay muchas variaciones adentro de eso, ¿ya? Uh, por ejemplo, not everything is black and white, or is in black and white. No todo está en blanco y no negro. Es decir, hay que ver todas las variaciones entre eh, ambos campos, digamos. Everything is in black and white. Everything is in black and white. To only see in black and white. To only see in black and white. Get ready. Prepárase. I should get ready for work. I should get ready for work. I could help him get ready. I could help him get ready. Lo puedes usar tanto como imperativo. Uh, hey, get ready. Prepárate porque tenemos que ir. Yeah? Get ready. We're leaving. O también como I should get ready for work. Yo debo prepararme para, para ir al trabajo ya. Yeah. I should get ready for work. I should get ready for work. I should get ready for work. I could help him get ready. I could help him get ready. Makes sense. Tiene sentido. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. It's beginning to make sense. It's beginning to make sense. Ah, y lo puedes usar así, nada más dos palabras, para decir que sí, obviamente, tiene sentido. Hmm, makes sense. O tú puedes decir como una frase más larga. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me. No, hace, no tiene sentido para mí. It, la situación, it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. It's beginning to make sense. It's beginning to make sense. At the same time. Uh, al mismo tiempo. We all started at the same time. We all started at the same time. We left at the same time. We left at the same time. At the same time. We started learning English at the same time. Nosotros dos empezamos a aprender inglés al mismo tiempo. At the same time. At the same time. We all started at the same time. We all started at the same time. We left at the same time. We left at the same time. Take place, va a pasar, va a suceder, on Thursday. The event, el evento, va a suceder, va a pasar el día jueves. The event will take place on Thursday. This meeting is to take place at the Classic Hotel. This meeting is to take place at the Classic Hotel. It's going to take place this Thursday. It's going to take place this Thursday. Again and again. Una y otra vez. Tell me, dime, Tell me again and again. Quizás me estás haciendo algo bonito que quiero escuchar muchas veces. Tell me again and again. Uh, dime una y otra vez. Tell me again and again. Tell me again and again. I've been over it again and again. I've been over it again and again. By the end of... Más un tiempo acá, puede ser un día, un, un, una fecha. I need an answer by the end of today. I need an answer by the end of today. And I want it by um, the end of the week. And I want it by um, the end of the week. Por ejemplo, 
I need, I need an answer. Necesito una respuesta. I need an answer by the end of the day. Necesito una respuesta al final del día. By the end of the day. Acabamos de vincular the end. Metiendo sonido y griega. The end of. Ahí también. The end of. The end of the day. I need an answer by the end of today. I need an answer by the end of today. And I want it by um, the end of the week. And I want it by um, the end of the week. To get used to something. Acostumbrarse a algo. It's hard to get used to the traffic down here. It's hard to get used to the traffic down here. You're going to have to get used to it. You're going to have to get used to it. Por ejemplo, uh, hace mucho calor acá. Me estás diciendo, uh, en Vietnam no puedo, hace mucho calor. Yeah, I got, en pasado, I got used to it. It acá, refiriendo al calor que ya mencionaste, ¿no? I got used to it. Ya me acostumbré a eso. I got used to it. To it. I got used to it. It's hard to get used to the traffic down here. It's hard to get used to the traffic down here. You're going to have to get used to it. You're going to have to get used to it. Just in time. Justo a tiempo. You're not in time. We're in time. You're not in time. We're in time. Miranda, you're here. Just in time. Miranda, you're here. Just in time. You got here. You got here just in time. Llegaste justo a tiempo. Just, no, just, mas, j, j, just, just in, just in time, just in time. You're not in time, we're in time. You're not in time, we're in time. Miranda, you're here, just in time. Miranda, you're here, just in time. On my own, por mi cuenta. If I can't raise a child on my own, I can't raise a child on my own. I get that on my own. I get that on my own. On my own. I can do it. Lo puedo hacer. I can do it on my own. Lo puedo hacer por mi cuenta. I can do it on my own. If I can't raise a child on my own. I can't raise a child on my own. I get that on my own. I get that on my own. It depends. Depende. Well, it depends. Well, it depends. It depends. It depends. It depends. Oye, Cory, ¿me puedes ayudar este jueves? Ta, 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 con... Tengo que mudar de casa. Ooh, it depends. I'm not sure. Yeah? Depende. No estoy seguro. It depends. Odio mudar de casa, así que a lo mejor estoy tratando de buscar una forma de no hacerlo. It depends. Well, it depends. Well, it depends. It depends. It depends. Guess what? Guess what? Es como sabes qué o adivina qué. Guess what? You're right. Guess what? You're right. Hey, guess what? We're going to Miami tomorrow. Hey, guess what? We're going to Miami tomorrow. Lo usamos mucho cuando queremos presentar algo. Por ejemplo, acabo de conseguir un nuevo trabajo. ¿no? Y te quiero decir, pero antes de dírtelo, quiero crear como un poco de emoción ahí. Hey, guess what? Oye, adivina qué. ¿no? O sabes qué. Y tú como, ¿qué? ¿Qué? ¿Qué pasó? I just got a new job. Me acaban de dar un nuevo trabajo. ¿no? Guess what? Hey, guess what? Guess what? You're right. Guess what? You're right. Hey, guess what? We're going to Miami tomorrow. Hey, guess what? We're going to Miami tomorrow. Have fun. Que te diviertas. Quizás ya sabías esta, uh, pero igual, uh, por, si, por las dudas, have fun. Muchas veces lo decimos cuando alguien se va ya a hacer cualquier cosa. Uh, voy a la playa con mis amigos. Have fun. Que lo pases bien. Que te diviertas. Yeah? Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Look out. Look out. Cuidado. Atención. Look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. Puedes gritarlo a alguien. Oh, hey, look out. Look out. No, look out. Cuando quizás eh, 
se le va a caer algo. Hey, look out, ¿no? Ahí, para llamarle atención o oh, quizás están cruzando la calle y no ven un auto que viene. Hey, look out, ¿no? Lo vas a gritar. Look out, look out. Good news. Buenas noticias. Good news. We got our first book. Good news. We got our first book. Good news. I got another job. Good news. I got another job. Good news. Uh, usamos antes de dar uh, noticias buenas, obviamente. Por ejemplo, antes vimos, hey, guess what? I just got a new job. Oye, ¿sabes qué? O adivina qué. Adivina qué. Me acaban de dar un nuevo trabajo. Acá, eso fue que, como quizás con un amigo. Ahora quizás con la esposa. No quiero decirle, guess what? Más, hey, good news. Es como si tengo buenas noticias. Ya todo, todo va a estar bien. I just got a new job. Good news. I got a new job. Buenas noticias. Me acaban de dar un nuevo trabajo. Good news. We got our first book. Good news. We got our first book. Good news, I got another job. Good news, I got another job. Si aprendiste cualquier cosa nueva hoy, por favor, avísame en los comentarios. Y si quieres más lecciones como esta, avísame. Si quieres seguir estudiando inglés conmigo, si quieres que yo te apoye con tu inglés, uh, y si quieres trabajar tu speaking, listening, pronunciación y fluidez, que vengas a mi curso Paz Fluidez, enlace en el primer comentario. Y también fíjate en los playlists que tenemos acá por YouTube. Tenemos más de 400 videos para ayudarte a llevar tu inglés al próximo nivel. Uh, mil gracias a todos que han venido a Patreon para apoyar este canal. Uh, mil gracias a cada uno de ustedes. ¿ya? Hasta entonces, que estés muy bien. Chao, chao.